Hey y'all, today I'm gonna to show you about marinating onions. I'm using a red onion and red wine vinegar, but this is a basic technique, so if a recipe calls for yellow onion and white wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar or any of those other things, just know that it's the same practice. Don't worry about it. And if that recipe also, I might tell you to put some other um, herbs or spices in with the marinade, just toss those in. Again, this is the basic, just marinating practice, or uh, marinating recipe, I should say. So don't stress the details, just know that it's you know basically onion and some kind of vinegar, and then you might add a couple other things depending on, on what it calls for that time. But today, it's just a simple one. So I'm gonna take my onion, do my normal onion um, technique that you will have seen before if you've watched our onion video. So taking the top off, and I leave this skin on, and then I cut through the root in half. Now with this one, you know, I'm not doing, I'm not gonna do any of our like dicing or anything. It's just gonna be sliced onion to put it in that container. So now I'm just peeling back the skin. Now I've got my, my two halves. So really just slice. With this one, you wanna slice them thinner so that more of the vinegar gets, gets access let me say that again. You want to slice it thin because you want to create greater surface area on the onion for the vinegar to interact with. That's what I was trying to say. So, much thinner slices on this. Nothing terribly complicated at this point. If you've been with Paleo U for a while, you've sliced your fair share of onions at this point, because I know I certainly have. I'm gonna take my container. This could be a jar, a mason jar, whatever. I like to use a container that's a little bit um, wider at the bottom. That way uh, it gets more surface area. Nope, I am starting to tear up a little bit. <laughs> you may or may not be able to see that. I'm just gonna toss these onions in here. And again, if I was using herbs or garlic or uh, bay leaves, black pepper corn, any of those things, I'd add them in with the onions at this point. Ooh, trying not to tear up too much on camera. Um, now I'm gonna take my vinegar. Now the amount of vinegar you need is gonna depend on how much onion you're doing. It's also gonna depend on the size of the container you have. But I wanna do enough vinegar in here to cover the onion for the most part. It doesn't have to be like 100%, like it doesn't need to be all the way to the top, but you want them to be well covered in there. So make sure you have enough vinegar. So I'm gonna use a whole lot of this red wine vinegar. But the cool thing is, is actually, after I use all the onions in here, what I would do, honestly, is slice up more onions and put them back in the same vinegar. Just keep reusing it. So that was just the perfect amount of vinegar. Love when that works out. And now I'm gonna put my lid on and let that just get all lovely in the fridge and then let them hang out until I need them. I like keeping marinated onions in the fridge to just add a nice little um, punch of flavor to salads or uh, any kind of meal. That's it, that's really easy. All right, I'm gonna put these in the fridge.